Hey guys, it's Sandro here, and welcome to part 3 and the final chapter of the detail on this BMW M140i Finale. Hopefully you've seen the first two videos where the car was washed, decontaminated and then corrected, as I'm going to jump straight into part 3 by ceramic coating the glass. For this I'm using Nova Glass, which is a specific, durable and high performing windscreen coating. As you would have seen in part 2, I gave all the glass on the vehicle a machine polish and it's been given another IPA wipe down to ensure that the coating will effectively bond to its surface and perform as good as possible. As far as application goes, I'm dividing the front windscreen into four sections, then I'm going to apply multiple layers of the glass coating over itself in two sections, and then I'll come back and almost immediately level down the coating in both sections with my microfiber cloths, and then repeat the process on the other half of the front windscreen. I'll also note that with most glass coatings, it's a good idea to give the front windscreen 2-3 to three layers as I've done here, but you should be fine with a single layer of the coating on the rest of the glass, simply for the fact that the front windscreen takes a lot more punishment and needs that extra layer or two. Next was ceramic coating the rims. Now being that the client chose a wheels on detail that have been cleaned and prepped on the car as you would have seen in part 1. And I'm just going to be coating the outer face of the rims. I'll start by giving them yet another surface wipe down to ensure that any dust or marks are completely removed and I'm going to be using Nova Wheel as the rim coating to lay down some durable protection. Nova Wheel is a fairly rapid flashing and curing coating, so in warmer weather you can just thoroughly work it over the rims and then almost immediately level it down with your cloths. But in colder weather I will tend to give it a couple of minutes before the wipe down. It may be hard to see in the footage, but apart from allowing the rims to be cleaned far more easily and stay cleaner for a little longer, this coating really added some nice increased levels of gloss and saturation to these beautiful M series rims. And like I say all the time, detailing is about the details. So when you take the time to get those things like wheels, glass and trims all looking their best, that's what really makes all the difference in elevating the whole car's finish to the next level.
So on to ceramic coating the paint and trims. For this job, the client has chosen to go with NV Nova Pro as the coating of choice and has also opted for a single layer to fit into his budget. But based on what I've seen with Nova Pro on my own cars and past client cars, a single layer, depending on the situation, can still last five years and beyond. So it is an extremely durable coating by most standards. Now it was a slightly warmer day here in Melbourne when I actually applied the coating. So what I found was that Nova Pro was flashing within a minute or so, meaning that I had to stick to applying it to a half metre section or so at a time before coming back and levelling it down with my two microfiber cloths. So like I mentioned all the time, how I coat each specific car in relation to my method really depends on the specific coating I'm using and the ambient weather at the time. So if I'm using a coating that doesn't flash quite as rapidly, and if the weather is a little cooler, I can usually apply it to larger sections and even multiple sections at a time before leveling it down. A question I also keep getting a lot is about applying paint coatings on trims. You'll find that on most modern cars, almost all trims such as headlights, taillights, plastic pillars, bumpers and even certain metal trims all tend to be clear coated these days. So in effect, you're really still coating the paint when you ceramic coat these trims. But one thing I will add based on my previous experience is that regardless of whether you're using a wax, sealant or coating, they just never seem to last quite as long when applied to clear coated plastic substrates as opposed to painted or clear coated metal panels. Maybe it's got something to do with the way the plastic is more susceptible to UV damage, but it really does seem to be the case. And it also extends to uncoated plastics and rubber trims that also don't seem to last quite as long when they're protected by comparison. So I guess what I'm trying to point out is that you just have to accept that the plastic, rubber and even unpainted metal trims just need to be recoated more often than your standard painted metal Can car panels. Shelter from this chill 
Now I'm hoping you guys will be able to see in the footage once we have a look at the final shots just what a difference was achieved on this beautiful M140i especially if you go back to the first episode and compare it to how it was when it first rolled into the shop. Now like I said in the previous video this car was in no way badly trashed to start with which in some ways makes it a little harder to achieve that noticeable difference. But I'd still say that after the decontamination, paint correction and final ceramic coatings, it's hopefully still fair to say that it just looked amazing with such a rich, deep and vibrant finish that I think is well deserving for such an awesome car and such an awesome client that was extremely appreciative for all the hard work that went into it. All up, this detailing job was about 30 hours from start to finish and about another 20 hours or so spent on filming over that week, with yet another 50 hours or so spent editing and producing this three-part series. So as it turns out, the actual detailing of this car was the quickest part of making these videos. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please share this video, like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show your support for this content and I'll see you guys soon. It looks really nice. It looks way better than before. All the little small marks are gone. And you're going to clean up the um, exhaust pipes as well. You look sweet, Sandra. <laughs> that's awesome. You've done a really good job. Yeah, thanks, Sam. I was just going to say that's why I came here, just because I've seen the work you did. It's really good. Yeah. It looks 10 times better than when I first got it. And even back then it looked pretty good, but now it looks awesome. Yeah, so hopefully you can have that, um, that new car experience again. Yeah, all over again. I bring it back every couple of months. <laughs>